Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Chapter 1 Shwani Mountain Sec Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Spirit Central World, Southern Land, Shwani Mountain, a solitary bird flies, offering itself to a beautiful mate, after the alcohol had worn off, she was gone. It was all a dream, the enmity is over. The sabers and swords are gone, alone in the cold boat, I drink to the rain falling on the river, accompanied by the sound of singing, a young man in white appeared in the horizon. He held a wine pot in his hand while exuding a charming aura akin to a dragon or a phoenix. He was like an immortal that had come alive from a painting greetings, Uncle, Grandmaster. Uncle, Grandmaster. Upon seeing this, the surrounding people immediately bowed respectfully to the youth, right? The youth nodded and casually walked past everyone towards the main hall, everyone only dared to speak after the youth had left, Uncle, Grandmaster has returned. His aura is like that of an immortal. He's too charming. As expected of Uncle, Grandmaster, we're far inferior. Qin Ju didn't care about what they were saying. Right now, he only wanted to quickly explain the matter of participating in the demon, slaying gathering to his cheap senior brother and then sleep comfortably. At this time, a handsome man suddenly walked out of the main hall and was slightly surprised to see Qin Ju. Eh. Uncle, master, you're back. So it's Ji Chen. You seem to have become much stronger, said Qin Ju meaningfully after sizing up the handsome man. Uncle, master, you must be joking. I still have a long way to go compared to you. The handsome man called, Ji Chen, sighed, indeed, you still have a long way to go compared to me. Qin Ju nodded without any modesty, the handsome man was speechless, I still have things to do with your master. Go do what you need to do. Qin Ju waved his hand impatiently. Yes. The handsome man quickly retreated. He would probably die of anger if he chatted any longer with this uncle, master. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but feel sorry for his master, the hall was unusually spacious. Upon entering, one could see two rows of lifelike white jade pillars with dragons carved out of them. It was exceptionally imposing. The floor was made of glazed glass, almost making the place look no different from an immortal's palace. Senior brother, I'm back. Qin Ju took a sip of wine and raised his voice. At the end of the hall sat a sage, like old man who exuded a powerful spirit energy fluctuation. He was Qin Ju's senior brother and also the sect master of Shuani Mountain sect. He, Bai Yi, was the strongest expert within a thousand kilometers. Upon hearing the youth's voice, the elder opened his eyes and said with a smile, Good, good, good. Quickly come and tell your senior brother what interesting things have happened at this demon. Slaying Gathering Hearing this, Qin Ju was rather speechless. Although this senior brother of his was already over 80 years old, he was always full of curiosity towards new and interesting things. If he had not been occupied with other affairs, he would have already personally gone to participate in this demon slaying gathering, sighing, Qin Ju took a step forward and instantly sat opposite the old man. He said in a bored voice, what could possibly happen? Isn't it just hunting a few fiend beasts? It's already been held more than ten times. Haven't you seen enough? Ah, uh, you're right. The old man was stunned for a moment and didn't know what to say. He could only change the topic. What about the rankings of the four great sections? Just like last year, first place was the Archaic Mysteries sect. Second place was the Profound Yellow sect. Third place was the Sword sect, and fourth place was the Thunder Breeze sect, Qin Ju answered casually. Then, hasn't the Archaic Mysteries sect been number one for five consecutive years? This is not a good thing. Who cares if it's good or bad? It has nothing to do with us, Qin Ju said indifferently, compared to the four great sects, the Shuani Mountain sect was just an unremarkable small faction in the southern land. Apart from remembering to send an invitation letter every year during the demon, slaying meat, people rarely thought about this place, I, I hope so. The old man sighed. Right. 
Qin Ju seemed to recall something as his eyes suddenly widened, what is it, the old man asked hurriedly, there was a very beautiful girl. I remember that she's the holy maiden of the Thunder Breeze sect. TSK TSK, that figure of hers. At this point, Qin Ju couldn't help taking another sip of wine, the old man was speechless, Qin Ju stood up and said, Senior brother, is there anything else? If there's nothing else, I'll go back to sleep first. All right, time to get lost. Wait. Anything else? You should drink less. Tisk, walking out of the main hall, Qin Ju stretched his back comfortably and sighed with emotion. Finally, I don't have to face those annoying fellows anymore, my sword, where should it go? It's hard to leave love and hate alone, my saber, it cuts through the sky. I do not know what is right or what is wrong, my pot of wine, it makes me drunk, and everything becomes blurred. Gratitude and resentment are only empty illusions, as Qin Ju sang, he staggered out of the hall and soon arrived at his courtyard despite being the youngest uncle grandmaster in the history of Shuani Mountain sect, actually, the entire spirit central world, Qin Ju loved to drink, sing, and enjoy the scenery, therefore, the courtyard he lived in was built on the edge of a cliff, and because the terrain was rather remote, he didn't have to worry about being disturbed, ha ha ha, little Qin. Long time no see. Qin Ju laughed, little Qin wasn't a human or a pet, but a blue stone at the edge of the cliff. In the past, when Qin Ju was drunk, he would lie on the blue stone and sleep. As time passed, Qin Ju regarded it as a friend, the blue stone couldn't speak, so the place naturally remained quiet, Qin Ju flew up and landed on the blue stone. He leisurely said, it still feels better here. No matter what happens in the future, I can't agree to senior brother's wishes and participate in such boring activities. Perhaps it was because he was already used to the life here, Qin Ju didn't like crowded places now. Even if it was an internal meeting of Shuani Mountain sect, he would often be absent, with this thought in mind, Qin Ju drained the wine in the pot, then lay down on his back, and slowly fell asleep. I in fact, there was a secret in Qin Ju's heart that he had never mentioned to anyone else, which was that he didn't belong to this world. Like most transmigrators, Qin Ju came from Earth. Fortunately, on the second day of his transmigration, he was selected by the former sect master of Shuani Mountain sect and accepted as his last disciple. I in the blink of an eye, ten years had passed. Qin Ju's master had long since passed away. After the election, Qin Ju's senior brother, Bai Yi, finally took over as sect master, and Qin Ju had also leaped to become a respected uncle. Grandmaster, during this period, besides Bai Yi and the former sect master who had already passed away, basically no one knew about Qin Ju's exact strength. To be precise, even Qin Ju himself didn't know, because he simply was too powerful, even if Qin Ju didn't do anything, his strength would continue to grow as he grew older. A few years ago, Qin Ju might have known what realm he was at, but now, it had completely surpassed his understanding. Even if it was the most powerful cultivator in the spirit central world, Qin Ju could still kill him with a single punch although he had invincible strength, he didn't want to become a superhero who maintained world peace. Every day, he would just drink wine, sing songs, and enjoy the scenery. No matter what earth-shattering event happened in the outside world, it wouldn't affect him. If Bai Yi hadn't been unable to leave this time, Qin Ju wouldn't have participated in the demon. Slaying Gathering either, who said that the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. At least Qin Ju wasn't interested. No one could force him to do that after an unknown period of time, when Qin Ju woke up, it was already late at night. The silver moon was like a plate, and the stars hung in the sky. The sight was incomparably gorgeous. At this moment, Qin Ju's body seemed to be afloat in the starry sky, his body and mind particularly relaxed. Mm. What's that? Qin Ju looked up and suddenly saw a flash of light flying towards him, meteorite. Qin Ju frowned slightly. With a wave of his hand, the light immediately turned in the air and flew elsewhere. After doing this, Qin Ju clapped the dust off his hands and then returned to his room to continue sleeping. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.